I'll get Lucas back on. <laughs> They've been so naughty. Are they? Yeah, we've got an early start tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock. <laughs> they want me to go to New York on Wednesday. Uh-oh, watch I'm out. No, I'm not going. <laughs>I get very creative with challenges. So you have a lot of input in what, what they're going to be doing. Yeah, because, you know, for me, I need to keep it real, Lupe. I need to open a restaurant every night, and the contestants are not contestants. They're, they're my chefs. And so that's how close I get with them. So sometimes I go overboard, and sometimes I, I get really upset with them. But um, they, I forget anything to do with contestants, competition, and I'm running a restaurant, and my job is to feed. 150 guests every night to the best we can, mm -hmm. and then throughout all that, I need to find a talented individual that's going to get an incredible prize at the end of it. Yeah. And that's how I look at it. And uh, you know, it, it, it works, but we have our moments. Now well, that leads me to my next question. So, do you think you're tougher on Hell's Kitchen contestants than Master Chef? Two completely different competitions. Yeah. You know, Hell's Kitchen's about professionals, and like I said, even before I started working on television, mm -hmm. you know, I've mastered my craft. Right. You know, I spent three years getting my ass kicked in France and then literally eight years, ten years, like reading medicine, studying under some great chefs to really perfect my trade. So then when I got a chance to sort of do my profession on television, it was Kitchen Nightmares that mm -hmm. really started first. So that was real because I, I wanted these businesses to, to work. Master Chef is completely different. These are amateurs that have full-time jobs. As, yeah firefighters, school teachers, bank clerks. And so the journey from apron to the finale, they finish like professional chefs. So the arc of that incredible mm -hmm. monumental journey is so exciting to see. With professional chefs in Hell's yeah, Kitchens, etc., really I'm not going to tolerate their mistakes because they should know that stuff before they come anywhere near me. They know how to season, they should cook scallops and shellfish beautifully and so if you're an executive chef and you're getting paid a lot of money per year you should know how to cook so you know i'm a lot tougher on them than i am on master chef but we get to a stage in master chef top eight top six we actually put them into the restaurant environment and they run a restaurant for real okay and then i want to talk about first impressions do you get an idea when you meet them in the first competition do you kind of get an idea of who's who like who's going to finish through or no Instantly, within, Instantly. 60, within, within 60 seconds, yeah, 100% mm -hmm. in terms of um, the way they cook, mm -hmm. the way they cut, their posture, and just the amount of respect they have for ingredients. I'll let you know in 60 seconds how far they're going. Mm -hmm. that.